In this video, I'm going to show you how to respond to the Microsoft Security Essentials Upgrade Wizard. Okay, so uh, essentially what this means, if you see it, is that you are running Microsoft Security Essentials and the upgrade has either come through on uh, you know, a website download or uh, through Windows Update, which is probably the most likely scenario. So uh, what's going to happen is during Windows Update, this Microsoft Security Essentials uh, dialog box will come up with the upgrade option. So we'll just go ahead and click on upgrade. All right, and you will be faced with the uh, terms and conditions, etc. Uh, if you're happy with those, go ahead and click I accept. All right. Now you're going to get the option to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program or not. Um, default for you. Uh, when installing any kind of software would generally be not to join that. It, it just creates more overhead for your computer to work with and uh, may also add uh, notifications and pop-ups uh, to your workflow that you're not necessarily interested in. Right? So go ahead and say I do not want to join the program at this time if that sounds good to you and click on next. All right. Now it is a good idea to have a firewall turned on Okay, if there's no other firewall, uh, you may be in a situation where you don't want or cannot have a firewall, but otherwise, leave that checked. Okay, and uh, again, uh, my preference, maybe yours, I would turn off automatic sample submission. Um, this does help them to identify suspect files, etc., but it could also be a privacy concern for you with them. Um, sending samples that may have information about you and your computer and your practices etc. So uh, depending on your level of paranoia you can leave that on or off and click on next. Okay, And it will go through the process of upgrading security essentials. While the upgrade is running, I am going to pause this video so that we don't have to sit there and watch. Ah, there we go. I had already paused and now it's complete. Okay, all you have to do is click on finish. And then the rest of your updates can continue on as normal. Okay, I hope that you found this video helpful. If so, please subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching.